So when I was young, I used to watch some random commercials that went up on the TV. So one day I was casually watching the ads until the next program that is going to show up. I saw this commercial where they talked about a random medicine being very useless and claiming that theirs is the best one. So looking back, I remembered that commercial and asked a question to myself. I wondered and asked a question to myself, what will be one of the uh, strongest germs that will human encounter that was going to create a pandemic like COVID-19 that is going on or far more worse. So after researching, I found something interesting about bacteria. It was because the United States CDC states that bacteria is one of the most deadly pathogens humans will encounter in the future. But this is not a normal bacteria, but it's called a superbug. In the old days before the 1900s, when before a proper medication was there, when you get a cut in the wrong place, such as a pond, then you will mostly die by bacterial infections. It was like a casually dead, a casual deadly thing that was going on for hundreds or thousands of years. Just until we, by accident, we found the medicine against those bacteria, and it was later on called antibiotics. So th this is a picture of what superbug looked like, and this is antibiotics. So now bacteria was less threat to us, and only the weakest and the oldest was killed among us. We use more and more of these medicines casually to get less sick. <clears throat> it saves millions of lives due to the infections caused by, caused by these relevant diseases. Just until we messed up in the long term. So since bacteria is a living thing, they have properties such as changing their own body to take advantage of the environment. So in pure chance, they can get immune to the antibiotics and then they can spread their immunity by a process called transformation and, and or trade genetic information with other bacteria. So a variety of superbugs already exist in hospitals since the hospitals are the perfect breeding grounds with all those bunch of antibiotics there. And humans were unaware of getting the long-term side effect of it. Effect, yeah. And it created a deadly bacterium that can kill a lot of people. By 2050, the BBC states that it can kill more people than cancer. So for example, in China, scary news arrived. The WHO said that Klesia pneumonia, one of the most deadly, uh, most not harming bacteria against regular antibiotics, revolutionized and became really powerful against colistin and other powerful antibiotics. The CDC also states that these superbugs threaten our last line of defense and cause a whole lot of death. This is a picture of colistin, and it's a old antibiotic that is rarely used because of its side effects like damaging your liver. Mm, okay. okay, but still, colistin helped a lot of patients that had complex superbug inf infections that cannot be cured. This news is very alarming because the antibiotics that held us safe in the last line are no longer safe. And this shows the beginning of the superbugs gaining immunity. But even though humans might not take these strong drugs that often and increase more superbugs, animal farms all around the world mostly have unhygienic conditions and to get more profit according to ResearchGate. Uh, to prevent this, owners of the farm use more powerful antibiotics and and different kinds of antibiotics are used. So these superbugs that will eventually happen between the animals and then it will spread by animal to animal and then <laughs> it will spread to humans eventually. This is just the starting point of the invasion of superbugs because later on bacteria will involve deadlier and would someday be immune to everything we have by repeating this process. We have transportation systems that can spread these kind of pathogens really quickly because as we can see, COVID-19 spread very fast. And superbug infections are also not that rare. 
The CDC says that there are 2.5 million people infected by superbugs and 23,000 people die from it every year. Maybe, maybe we should be worried now, but no, since this is not an actual problem that is actually affecting our life now. And, and it's rarely heard from people. <laughs> and there's a lot of global problems going on all around the world. We have solutions that solve these problems, such as using bacterial phages, or phage for short. Um, this is a phage. It looks like a robot. It's very cool. And it's more effective than antibiotics, according to NCBI. Since this is a virus responsible for the most deaths in the world, it only targets bacteria. And specific phages can kill specific bacteria. Uh, and then. So it will kill what it's only supposed to when they get their, when they're injected. And the humans also don't stay still but research to find the best way to solve the case. So don't be so worried. Later on in the far future they might mutate differently and then it can cause a problem. Does the humani does the humanity plays the right cards against those cool and scary superbugs? So in this time with COVID-19, we should still be aware of those things change since things change constantly every second, including the superbugs, the viruses, and all the other um, things. Thank you for listening.